Boss, before we get to football, it was obviously uh, an emotional occasion for everyone connected with the club yesterday when we heard the, the passing of, of a supporter. Yeah, um, you know, feeling bad as we, we were um, with the result, and disappointed, you know, that was um, paled into significance when I got the message on the staff group chat, really, from the doctor um, at half past one, really, um, letting us know that the passing are, are calling. So, um, you know, I wasn't aware of it, anything at the time and before I left the ground, but um, real sadness and obviously a real traumatic time for the family and his son having to deal with that at the time. I don't think death for any family is difficult to contend with, but when someone goes out to watch a game of football and doesn't come home, it's, it really does hit home. And, you know, obviously we're here as a club to try and help and assist in any way, but, you know, the players were talking about it this morning as, as we were the staff. Um, and we want to try and support the family the best way possible, but, you know, will we have a, a, a minute of silence tomorrow? We'll wear our, uh, black armbands as a mark of respect. Um, um, to Colin and his family um, and all the supporters have reacted the exact same way and it, it, can I just um, you know just enforces really the, the strong community we've got here the, the, the strong kind of um, family feel to the club you know the, the supporters turned out brilliantly to watch the team win and unfortunately we weren't able to do that and we'll come on to that in a minute but also the response from the support towards the family is I'm sure it is a, of great comfort to the family and we're here to help in any way we can. Of course, uh, you know, I think we've got to respect and give the family their space, but if there's any way we can help going forward, then of course we're all here to do that. What have the last 24, 36 hours been like for you uh, since the last game and, and then having to try and prepare for another? Well, I think we're just trying to see. We're trying to dust ourselves down, um, disappointing from the game. And it was we'll, When you analyse the game back, we got off to a perfect start. We, uh, we get the crowd engaged with the team, the crowd had turned up to do their bit and they were magnificent on the night um, and it feels as if it's been a real slap in the face to them, you know, hope they turned up with the belief and the hope that we can go and win the game and we got off to the perfect start where we let ourselves down, we, we didn't hold on to the lead for long enough and lose our poor goal from a set play. Uh, we passed out a few opportunities and we played with two strikers to try and carry that threat um, and we had a, a couple of opportunities to go and get that second goal. The disappointing aspect for me is we lost a bit of control of the game that last half hour. Uh, and in particular, when we lose the second goal, the reaction isn't what it needs to be here. And we, it's got, that's got to improve. Felt as though the situation all became a bit too much for, for some of the players. And we've got to try and roll our sleeves up and go again. There's still plenty of the game to go. And that aspect of it was disappointing. So you always remember how the game finishes. Um, and unfortunately for us, it was we were a poor version of ourselves in that last part of the game so it's important we try and respond to it um, you know there were some aspects of the, the, the performance was good um, I thought Fraser Murray and Chris Burke were, were very good in the game and carried a threat it was, we'd hoped in those wider areas and them being selected for that was, was uh, part of the reason for them and getting it, their full backs in the wider areas but I think by and large we could do we, um, get one or two back as well from injury and um, to try and make us stronger in certain areas um, but we should be good enough to still win the game, uh, regardless with that team and the squad picked, we should be winning the game and it's been a real missed opportunity for us. You were hoping possibly one would make it back for tomorrow, is that going to be the case do you think? Yeah, we've we'll got Blair Alston back um, back in training which is um, a hell, we still don't have Scott Robinson um, and uh, while others are improving we, we don't feel as though anybody else is going to make the game. Um, Got a couple of knocks from the game the other night as well, so we'll see how things uh, play out over the next um, uh, few hours. The players have been uh, trained this morning, so we'll see if there's any reaction at one or two from that. Um, so we might get one, one more added to Blair back into the squad, um, but we'll see how things play out over the next few while. So um, we're disappointed with the result, of course. You know, it's a local derby. We we stress the importance of getting that momentum from a win against their uh, local rivals and we feel as though it was a wee bit of a slap in the face to the fans, they turned up with full expectation um, so we might have, as I say, we've disappointed with ourselves in that but we've got an opportunity to still to rectify and make this a, a special season and that's what we need to try and hang on to, try and work towards and hopefully be better tomorrow. It, it, I was obviously looking for that more belief from the players has it been more difficult because of those injuries that you've had to kind of chop and change the team a little bit in, in the first month that you've been here? Yeah, I don't, 
I think in the first couple of games, you know, I've tried to I'm trying to assess the squad of what I've actually got here and what we need to do. Um, but there's been a lot of changes, probably too many changes. What we would have liked to do, we want to try and get a more settled team. Um, but for us, it's it's uh, a lot of the time has been been forced to make uh, changes through injury and players unavailable. So um, I think it goes without saying that if we can get a settled team and. Uh, my strongest team at the pitch. We will be. It will certainly help us in the challenge we've got.